Hello everybody, it's Bluestorm97 and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you another side of the merchant family from my merchant current households that I've been doing. But before we start, I just wanted to thank you all so much for your continued support and my <laughs> videos have been getting um, more popular recently and I just wanted to thank you guys so much for everything that you do. It truly makes my day, um, especially your comments. I literally love your comments. I know I've said this before, but thank you all so much for your nice words. So yeah, I know that some of you guys have been looking forward to this and I have been looking forward to filming this as well. So here we are. So this is actually Chance's side of the family, which is he's the second born. So we went from uh, Lance, who is the first son, to Vance, who is the third son. And then now we're at Chance, the second son. I know that we still have Xander left, so <laughs> we'll get to him. Don't worry. But I've been holding off on recording this um, side of the family, Chance, because I wanted to get them moved into this gorgeous house and then do some other stuff like housekeeping stuff so yeah as you can see we have harvest fest decorations up it is harvest fest in my game right now so yeah that's pretty fun so you know what i'll just give you guys the house tour first as per usual. so this is what it looks like on the um exterior so to the right here we have actually um like a booth kind of thing i don't know there's a garbage can in there i just realized <laughs> whoops um yeah and then over here we have just a cute little garden it's you know there's water and lily pads and all that there might be koi in here i don't know i want to get the ones that have the koi <gasps> look at it, there they are there's fishies anyway and then this is like just a little front area and then you have the actual entrance oh my gosh ignore that gnome that is not usually there um we have these pretty little steps and then we go inside um right when you walk in you see this like book bookcase and a chair and stuff like that like a little reading nook and then to your left there's an umbrella stand and then here's just like a pretty much the living room there's like or like the formal living room let's say over here is like cat stuff which i'll get to um here is the gorgeous kitchen i love this kitchen um i've decorated everything but i didn't actually build the house i just decorated it um yeah it's kind of bare right now we don't have the money to like properly decorate the island like i would want to but that's okay okay and then down here is the giant um bathroom it's like the primary guest bathroom so yeah here is one of my sims <laughs> and then we have a pretty little sink area i guess the toilet bathtub and showers back here i love this like tiled wall i think it's so cute um but yeah i wanted to make it kind of luxurious for them and then when you go back out i guess we could go um all the way down here so this is the dining room um and there's also like a shelf there <laughs> which i'm gonna put knickknacks on and stuff like that um so yeah this is the dining room there's also i think this is a door if not it's a window i'm not sure um and then yeah let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you get to the top of the stairs this is like the living room i know it looks a little awkward but like this is all i could do and it was just an empty space so i was like let's put the tv in here and then over here is um chance's office as you can see it's kind of boring right now but i will um decorate it more as we get more money and time goes on and then over here is a bathroom it's like the sorry the lights aren't on but you get the idea um it's just a bathroom <laughs> um it's like the main guest bathroom upstairs and then sorry the lights aren't on as well should i turn them on here is the master bedroom i guess um it's chance's bedroom there's a little devil gnome right there <laughs> grim reaper and then here is the master suite nothing too special and then we have some pictures up there and all that and then when we go back out over here is a gorgeous gorgeous balcony which i'm obsessed with and then over here is a guest bedroom not really a guest bedroom it's our son's bedroom um it's very boring right now because i haven't had the chance to decorate it because we just adopted him so yeah and then over here is um my sims husband's or not husband they're engaged fiance's um study slash like office slash like work area which i love it's super simple and fun and then he has his own balcony out here as well okay so i think that's it for the second floor and then on the third floor i know there's three floors we just have oh my gosh it's all acting weird we have like a yoga mat and just like the decoration box but yeah there's like on our roof there's uh i'm gonna put stuff up here so yeah um that's it for the house tour i believe i guess i could go to the backyard 
so let's go ahead and do that um it's nothing special because we literally just moved in like i said yeah this is the backyard there's actually columns right there it doesn't look like that mm -hmm. oh that's why they're saying it looked ugly okay wait so we have like this covered like porch area um and i put like a fireplace and like sitting area right there yeah some stuff for our son right here like a activity table chemistry set thing and then some of these planters i don't know for what but whatever um i'm gonna go ahead and fix this really quick because my sims have been annoying me because they're uncomfortable because the house looks ugly apparently and i was like it's not missing anything and then i realized that it is so it's missing paint over here um okay let's make sure it's all this color are these painted i think so i hope so okay anyways so um yeah that's the house it's nothing special but i wanted them to live in a big house so i guess now i'll get to the sims this is kiyoshi ito you might recognize him he is a townie from mount komorebi he is so cute also i need to age up his parents because they're literally the same age <laughs> as him right now but yeah so he has the extreme sports enthusiast um aspiration we're on level two i've been trying to work on that a little bit he is a press agent which is level six of the um social media social networking career um and he's in public re relations he's that branch right now um so yeah he makes pretty good money these are his skills snowboarding is his highest of course he is obsessed with snowboarding he literally tries to go all the time he's in his snowboarding gear right now <laughs> um here are his relationships yeah <laughs> uh here's what's in his inventory the judith ward signed autograph is so funny can i put it somewhere oh my gosh can we put it on here no oh, that's fine we'll put it right there anyways we also have a, a photograph of them two together that's cute so he is adventurous romantic and erratic <laughs> that's become an issue um he's also chopstick savvy and he has a high metabolism bec um, because of his aspiration he doesn't like classical music um he likes programming fitness video gaming rock climbing writing and he doesn't like the violin and he doesn't like the color brown and he likes country and outdoorsy fashion i guess interesting he has a people person and workaholic lifestyles he's absolutely a workaholic not in the good way <laughs> um yeah anyways and he has a decent fame right now i'm trying to get him leveled up in that and yeah uh, he's not a part of any clubs or anything like that so yeah that's kiyoshi and then of course we have my child chance merchant um he has the best-selling author aspiration We're on level two of that as well um, and he is a freelance writer. He is level two in that, but we made some really good money off of it. Let's, let's be real. We've done a lot of gigs. Um, he also gets daily royalties from his own novels that he's published. These are his skills. He's maxed writing. Um, and his other skills are okay. <laughs> and then, um, these are his relationships actually. Wait, what? Did him and Greta make up? Because I could have sworn they hated each other her and one of my kids hate each other and then this uh, this is the stuff in his inventory i have pictures of his siblings that they left at the merchant family home that i wanted to just go to their house and like place somewhere um he is a bookworm genius self-absorbed mediator compassionate responsible mentally gifted top-notch toddler amuser and he graduated high school early um which is very true he was very good at high school but he graduated early by choice um he likes cottage horror singer songwriter and singer songwriter music and then he likes fitness video gaming skiing handiness and writing and then he also likes color blue of course and he is a people person how sweet and he's part of the uh, merchant family club which i need to upgrade <laughs> to get more spots i still haven't done that um so yeah and then this is our son raiku merchant because chance and kiyoshi aren't married yet um technically raiku is only chance's son but i'm actually okay with that so this is oh my gosh this is what the family how uh tree looks like right now so yeah this is raiku um he, we literally just adopted him yesterday in game um so he has the artistic prodigy aspiration um he has a c and then these are his skills because he we just adopted him um, and these are his relationships. As you can see, he's closer with Chance. Yeah, and then he's squeamish. So that's fun. Here are his character values. We'll work on them. Don't worry. And yeah, so there's not much to say about him. He's really cute, though. Let me show you his outfits. Um, I like this one. This one's nice. I like them all, but I just gave him a makeover. Yeah, I used the new kit, the f kid's kit thing to 
um, change his clothes, and I thought that was nice. Okay, now let's get to the most important part of this household, the cats. <laughs> um, this is Doki, and um, Doki, I actually don't remember what, what his... Uh, <laughs> he's so weird looking what his breed is but yeah he's he's a very strange looking cat but i'm obsessed with him he's mischievous curious and a glutton and his bestie is chance um, chance is besties with both the cats to be honest um yeah i love doki he's such a troublemaker though oh my gosh and he's getting chunky look at him oh he's so cute and then we also just adopted mochi um here he is oh no it's a girl <gasps> no i thought it was a boy we got i gotta get her spade if she isn't already. This, look at, oh my gosh. This is Mochi. She's a Persian cat. Oh, and she's levitating right now. How cute. Um, oh my gosh, look at her go. She's literally zooming. Um, okay, so Mochi is uh, clever, spoiled, and frisky. She is so fun. I love her. We also adopted her right before we got Raikou as well. So to be honest, like, let's just go ahead and play a little bit in their life. Um, I tried to, my whole point with this was I wanted to experience a different culture, so I wanted Kiyoshi and Chance to be together. Um, now, their relationship isn't the healthiest. That stupid um, mean interaction glitch that's been happening to everybody is really annoying. Um, so, they um, their sentiments are soulmates. Uh, sorry, not their sentiments. They are soulmates, best friends, social bunny friends, and they're engaged. Um, and Kiyoshi is adoring about Chance, but Chance has a festering grudge against Kiyoshi because Kiyoshi, due to his erratic trait, he is can be mean for no reason. Um, I'm just going to say that instead it's the glitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, he tends to be kind of mean to Chance. Um, they don't have a full friendship bar anymore. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing to see that happen. They are plan to get married um uh on s this sunday actually so that'll be very fun it's also the festival of youth that's really cute and then the day after that kiyoshi's gonna go on a mountain climb excursion with his family um he has his mom megumi let's just pretend she's not a young adult um his dad naoki and his brother joaquin and then his sister nanami um so yeah that's pretty cool um i love his hobby of snowboarding i think that's super fun chances into skiing um yeah so chance makes a majority of the money because he's a writer and um the gigs are quite like well paying so yeah he makes a majority of the money what is raiku doing he's eating oh cute um he wants to become friends with kyoshi of course um you just made tea so pour it oh my gosh i love this tea set i know it's um chinese i believe but, and, um, Kiyoshi's Japanese, so, yeah, just so you know, I'm aware of that, um, but I still think it's cute, like, decoration-wise, so, yeah, I wanted to have some, a uh, different culture, so I was like, let's do, let's, let's, let's marry, um, Kiyoshi, even though I feel like they're not made for each other, you know who's really cute, though, is this guy that we met, uh, Kakeru, he is, like, really good-looking, and so I'm like, let's go ahead and send him a text just so that we stay friends. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's over there? Oh. Yeah, I want to stay friends with him just in case. Not that he's a backup or anything, but like he's kind of a backup. Yeah, but look at them. How cute is that? Let's go ahead and make a silly face. We'll sing about Harvest Fest. We'll be thankful. You know, the whole the whole vibe. Hey, whoa. Whoa now. I need you to be thankful as well for the little thing. Yeah, it's Harvest Fest. Um, I typically switch like rotation for each household that I play with on holidays. So for Harvest Fest, I'm gonna be playing with Chance, and then for Winter Fest, I'm gonna be playing with their parents, Tanya and. Dang it, we didn't win the lottery. That's so disappointing. Tanya and Rocky will be playing with for Winter Fest. So. Let me know if you guys want to see that um, when Christmas comes around in real life. Um, so, yeah, I love this family so much. Uh, I, I'm going to be real. I think Chance and Kiyoshi are my favorite household out of all of them. Well, okay, I take that back. I love them all. Because <laughs> then I was like, mm, maybe maybe Lance is my favorite because of the family gameplay. And then I'm like, mm, but I also really like Vance because he's an actor. <laughs> so i love them all um xander uh, don't worry i never forget about xander our fourth son um oh my gosh look at his beard ew 
he's a young adult he just hasn't moved out yet but whenever i record i want to get him whenever i record xander's household i want to have him moved out and stuff like that already he is dating he xander's dating loose goth and i think that's cute so i honestly think that's about it for this household thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me out so much and it makes my day truly and yeah thank you guys so much again for everything and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye